What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller, and we have so much to get to this week as we are closer than ever to emergence and an all-new Impact Wrestling immediately following us. But, Gia, we had a banger of a main event. Oh, yeah, it was a huge six-man tag team match. But I've got to talk about what happened before the match even began. Seems that Samurai Del Sol was laid out by Leo Rush. Laredo Kid, extremely fresh, black to roost, had his exposed knee go into the top turnbuckle, and has had to deal with Moose Myers and Bully Ray for much of this matchup. Now Laredo Kid against Myers. And turning up the speed, turning up the intensity against the most professional wrestler. Neckbreaker by Laredo Kid. Now Moose goes after Kid. Not stopping yet, though. The momentum continues. Oh, oh beautiful oh. DDT by Kid. And now Bully Ray steps in. He got two out of three. Can he finish the hat trick here? Oh, and taking Bully Ray down. Look at this run from Laredo Kid. Three and one. And Laredo Kid is hitting anything that moves. Oh, and Laredo Kid sent into the referee. I don't know if that was entirely by accident by Bully Ray. Oh, the official is down. And now Bully Moose and Myers can go to work. And there you can see the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley, Chris Saban, Kushida, and Josh Alexander getting a taste of what these three are capable of at Emergence. And the official is down. And now Bully Ray is trying to remove the mask of Moreno oh, Kid. This is sacrilege for luchadors. Another level of disrespect. What the hell? And Bully Ray is frozen in fear. Perfect creation one is alive. And Moose rushes after PCO. Bully is frozen. He can't believe his eyes. The last time we saw PCO, it was Bully Ray and Macklin lighting PCO on fire. But he lives. I mean, ah! Frankenstein. But he still can't believe what he's seeing. Can't believe it's real. And now PCO has run Bully Ray out of the impact zone. And I remember this matchup is technically still underway. The official have been taken down. He's outside the ring. Blank Tarus and Laredo Kid moving forward. The oh. odds have been evened here. And now look at Laredo Kid. Splash. Kid, cover on Myers. The official. The referee just barely making it. Is there sit here? Oh, and a kick out by Myers. Just a hair too long for the official to recover. But again, the odds have been oh. even, at least for a second here. Moose takes away the tag option of Black to Rose. Two on one. Monster come by Myers. The official didn't see Moose. And Myers gets the win for his team. Despite the appearance, the miraculous appearance of PCO to even the odds, Moose, Myers, and technically Bully Ray, your winners in the main event here. This is what this group is willing to do. The depths they will stoop to come emergence. Get out! Get out! Get out of the car! 
Well, big win for Brian Myers and company. And we've got plenty more to get to, folks. That was a huge main event, but we're going to recap all the things that went down last week on Impact Wrestling. But the action will get started right here tonight. Still to come, Johnny Swinger and Sheldon Jean go one-on-one -on -one right here on BTI. But up next, more from last week. Don't go anywhere. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI and Emergence. The World Tag Team titles will be on the line, but who will face the champion subculture? There's a whole tournament going on. Oh, yeah, that's the question. Rascals and, won last week. They mm -hmm. moved on. Yep, and now we saw Sammy Callahan yep. and Rich Swan versus the former World Tag Team Champions, ABC. Who would be moving on in this one? Let's find out. Oh! Cover. Great combination. Oh, and a kick out. But still, Chris Bay stays in it. Swan now. Both him and Callahan got to bring wondering, what's it going to be? What's it going to take? And now Swan from the second row. Let's go for the 450 there. They took out Callahan to prevent a tag option for Swan. Uh-oh. Now trying to get to the corner. Tag made by Austin. Oh! Gets it just in time. And now... The double team action here from ABC. Oh, the kick and the neck breaker. Is this enough for the ABC to advance? No, a kick out by Swan. The resilience of Rich Swan. The resilience that has brought him world championship gold. Can he advance towards tag team gold itself? All right, Callahan trying to fire up the fans here in Chicago. Some support for Rich Swan, But it is a two-on-one scenario now. Callahan down on the apron. Call for the Brain Buster. Ooh. Austin was pre prepared for the assist. Oh! oh, some accidental contact there. And a tag made Callahan's into the match. Rare miscue there from the ABC. Oh! But it looking, it's looking like it cost them dearly. Kick right to the face. Misfires are plenty. Oh, wait. Could be looking for the one-two sweet here. Oh, we know. One of the order finesse, but he's caught up by Callahan in a submission. And now Swan looking to take out Austin, dragging him all the way to the floor. Swan and Austin to the outside. Callahan with the submission in the center of the ring. He's got the chicken wing in. Hold on, shoulders down. Oh, and ABC couldn't move on in the tournament Ooh. just yet. Good counter there, though, from Chris Bay. He was looked like he was almost about to fade there, Tom. Found the strength to move on. Great first round action in this tournament in the lead up to emergence. You gotta believe Ooh. subculture, the champions looking on. And what a way oh. to kick off the broadcast here as well. Can they get it now? It. Boom! There's the one, the art of finesse. There's the two. The fold. Can the ABC advance? Oh, oh. and Swan broke up the pinfall. Just in the nick of time. Rich Swan saving it for the death machine and himself. But if you're ABC, what do you do next? You just threw your best shot at Swan and Callahan. Oh, a swan a big kick there. Austin and Bay down on the outside. And Swan Ooh. gets Bay, but missed Austin. I think Ace Austin got out of the way there into the ring now to go one on one with Callahan. Oh, now look at this. Oh, stopping the head of Callahan into the mat. To the legal man. Wait, wait, what, what the hell? The good hands. Oh, oh baby. Couple of good hands on oh, here. Oh! Down goes Hutch. And Swan battling Hutch up the entranceway. Breaking down on the ramp away. Oh Ooh. my god, and Skyler just wiped out Austin with the stroke. Austin now vulnerable in the ring. Callahan didn't see it go down. Oh, now Callahan Ooh. taking advantage of the circumstance. Never saw the involvement of Skyler. Callahan and Swan advance. Here are your winners, Rick.
Schwan and Simi Callahan. Now oh, the good hands skate away. Swan looking to the ring now. I, I saw him. Well, why in the hell did the good hands get involved in this? They're not even involved in the tournament. I wish I had an answer, Tom. Run the last Callahan and Swan to meet the Rascals in the tournament finals. Well, interference from the good hands leads to Sammy and Rich over. So Sammy Callahan and Rich Swan are moving on. We use industry terms now, Kevin. Don't make a face like that. <laughs> it's inside baseball here on BTI. Who went over, who won the match. It's all fine here on BTI. Nonetheless, let's get back to singles action as Kushida went one-on-one -on -one with Mike Bailey. Oh. Oh, trying to fire back with that right arm, but the right arm and heavily damaged after that kick. Oh, and a kick to the left arm there of Kushida. Well, think about uh, how Kushida could be hampered. Take away the arms, really damage the ability to go for the hoverboard lock. Yeah, it take, takes two arms to lock that oh. submission in at the end of the day, folks. Oh! BK right to the chest. Oh, oh. went for the knees to the ribs. Oh, oh. hoverboard lock! There it is! And look where Mike Bailey is, center of the ring. Great re repositioning by Bailey here, trying to counter release the pressure as best he can. And now Bailey, Whoa! Bailey into an arm bar. Great counter. Catch wrestling here, folks, in the impact oh, zone. It is, and again goes to the arm bar. Bailey trying to submit Kushida. No shoulders down, Kushida nearly turned it around. Oh, there's a full extension. Bailey taking the game here to Kushida. And now Kushida trying to press the shoulders down. Couldn't get the pinfall there. Oh, oh. now a double knees to the chest. Bailey won it earlier on. Again, still favoring that arm, though. Trying to get that feeling oh. back. What a kick by Bailey. Shoots the half. Here's the cover. Pressing the shoulders down. Kushida still no. in it. But into the arm bar again. 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 And again. Oh, uh, is Kushida, Kushida going to tap? Oh, no. Kushida got to the bottom rope with his legs. Had to use all, reach all the way to his toes there to get that bottom rope. Both guys in this match have, have decimated each other's arms here. Oh! Kick right to the chest, and now Bailey trying to keep Kushida close. Heard that sickening thud, trying to cave in the rib cage of Kushida. Oh, trying to hyperextend the elbow and a kick right to the face. Ah, uh, now Bailey! Oh, went for the tornado kick, and he's caught. Caught by Kushida, who dives right in. Single leg takedown. Bailey's you're trying to reposition here. Can't quite do it. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Oh, Hold shoulders up. down. Oh, and a kick out. Oh, blocking the arm once again. Tanaka punch! That took Bailey down to his knees. Both guys had so much taken out of them. Oh! Chance of this is awesome. Kushida trying to get creative, Ooh. going in for the legs and a knee right to the face. That's got to be it. Oh, and Kushida grabbed the bottom rope. Just in the nick of time. And if there was a match to show Jonathan Gresham how to continue in the face of adversity. It is this one as Bailey keeps coming and coming and coming. And proof to bully Moose, Myers, and Rush come emergence. How tough of an out Kushida and company will be. Oh, and now the tornado kick by Bailey. But could this be it? Could this be the closing moments? Whoa. Oh, I was going for ultimate weapon there, Kushida. A little burst of energy there, trying to prevent the ultimate weapon. Another kick to the left arm of Bailey. And now, oh! oh into the hoverboard lock, hoverboard lock! Trying to rip oh. Bailey off the top! He's but still holding onto the hoverboard! The tenacity of the time splitter is unmatched! But Bailey back up to his feet, able to switch the positioning. Uh-oh! Oh! oh small package driver! Back to the future! Kushida beats Bailey! Here's your winner, Kushida! 
What an absolute knockdown, drag out fight between two of Impact Wrestling's best. I hope Jonathan Gresham was paying attention to the phenomenal effort of Speedball Mike Bailey tonight. But Kushida picks up an important win with Emergence looming. I hope Bully Ray and company were watching that matchup. An absolute message sent to everybody at Emergence. What an incredible X Division match and Kushida with the win. I could watch those two wrestle all day long and who knows what's gonna happen tonight on an all new Impact Wrestling. We know the action will get started early as Johnny Swinger and Sheldon Jean go one on one right here on BTI. But up next, more from last week. Don't go anywhere. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI as we get closer and closer to an all new Impact Wrestling, closer to Emergence. Cannot wait for that in Toronto. But let's get back to the action knockout style. Oh, yeah. It was Alicia Edwards versus Jody Threat. And you're just going to have to watch how this one went down. Alicia is going to be careful here. He's trying to get some breathing room a couple of times now. Hasn't been able to find it, but oh! oh. Well, caught up there, caught up in the ropes, and Alicia using that positioning to her advantage. That might do it. Catching threat off guard there. And is this the attitude? Is this the style that ran off Tracy Brooks? I, again, ran off Tracy Brooks. I don't believe in How's that. How's your Latin, Tom? Post hoc ergo proctor hoc. You know what that means? After it, therefore, because of it. Prove me wrong. I, again, think Frankie Kazarian was able to talk some sense into Tracy Brooks, and Brooks understood Alicia is an active, regular competitor here in Impact Wrestling and beyond. Uh, Tracy Brooks doing the right thing for her family's sake as well. And Alicia is just poking and prodding and trying to get the best out of Frankie and Tracy. And if no one's going to answer that because they're too afraid, then oh, that's just uh, fine. Give me a Meanwhile, break. Alicia no here, there, bravely, There bravely. is no fear on the part of Tracy Brooks when it comes to Alicia Edwards, who's very prepared to get into the ring against Alicia. Well, there's no fear oh, here from Alicia Edwards. Uh oh breaking the back. Look at the, oh, oh. Now oh, Alicia here. trying to put away Jody, threat and a kick out. I tell you, no fear in the eyes of Alicia Edwards stepping up here to Jody Threat. Still to come here tonight in Chicago inside Cicero Stadium. Should be a fantastic matchup as Speedball Mike Bailey goes one on one with the number one contender to the X Division Championship, Kushida. And in our main event, it's Moose, Myers, and Bully Ray against Black Tarus, Laredo Kid, and the debuting Samurai Del Sol right here in the Windy City. Huge main event matchup still to come. Ooh! As right now, Alicia taking it to Jody Threat. Into the ropes, Threat. Ooh, Able to slow up her momentum, kick right to the face. And off the ropes, Jody Threat has found an opening. And when Jody Threat finds an opening, it's bad oh. news for her opponent. Ace first into the middle turnbuckle, and now Threat. These clotheslines in the corner. Rapid fire here. And Alicia rushes out of the corner. Doubled over there by Threat, and a bump kick. And Alicia into the ropes, double knees. Not done yet. German suplex by Threat. Threat on fire here. And now Threat up under the shoulders. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Alicia went to the eyes. Red was looking to put Alicia away. Oh, wait a minute, wait Whoa. a minute. Eddie Edwards using Kenny the Kendo stick to take Threat off her feet. The official never saw it was dealing with this. Oh, wait, 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 Kazarian, Frankie Kazarian dropping Eddie. What does he have to do with this matchup here? It has everything to do with it. Where Tracy Brooks isn't out here. Eddie Edwards didn't do anything. If Jody as far Threat as I was can... willing to stand up on behalf of Tracy Brooks, then Frankie doing the right thing backing up Threat. Oh! Calls that pop, shove it. Threat beats Alicia. Here's your winner, Jody Threat. 
And Alicia Edwards distracted by the chaos caused by Frankie Kazarian. The chaos caused by, what are you talking Come about? On. Eddie Edwards getting involved with the kendo stick. Give me a break. Either way, it was none of Kazarian's business. Their issue was separate to everything going on with Jody Threat and Alicia oh, Edwards. I, it. I don't know. Jody Threat, was, Jody Threat was trying to do the right thing here on behalf of Frankie and Tracy Brooks. So Frankie backed up Threat, and now Eddie Edwards has stepped in it. Come on. All right, good. He dropped. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Chaos, Bedlam, Anarchy, who knows what's gonna happen there. I mean, you got Frankie, and you got Eddie, and you got Alicia, and you got uh, Tracy, and you got all these things happening. So much. So much happening. What's gonna happen? Who knows? Let's head back to the action now as Bupinder Gujar went one-on-one -on -one with Dirty Dango. Dango continuing to control the pace here against Bupinder Gujar. Oh! oh! Only for a moment there. Yeah. Gujar capable, capable of this type of explosion. Almost on a dime here, spinning things around. Now Gujar, oh, doubles back, kick right to the midsection. Oh, kick to the head. Face Ooh. first into the canvas. Gujar now feeling fired up. Wants to send this message even more home to Dirty Dango here. Oh, he gets the knee strike. Off the rope, spine buster by Gujar. Did he get enough of it? Here's the cover kick out by Dango. It's gonna take a little bit more than that to take down the sports entertainment superstar that Dirty Dango continues to prove himself to be. Well, now thinking about oh, the gargoyle spear, and there's Alpha Bravo shining a damn flashlight in Gujar's eyes. You gotta be kidding me. It didn't oh. touch him. It doesn't count. Another oh, reverse DDT. Daniel puts away Gucher. Here's your winner, Tango. That is ridiculous. But it's damn sure effective. The backup, the protection, the necessary protection of Alpha Bravo paying off once again. professional wrestling. I can literally smell and feel the body heat out of each and every one of you. Hold up. Oh, and look who's here in the impact zone. Jake something. Sick of hearing Dirty Tango run his mouth, apparently. Easy now, Alpha Bravo. Easy now, Dango. Hey. Hey, what's up, big man? How you doing, brother? Hey, you look at me. Do you know how long it's taken me to get right here? Do you know how hard I've had to work to get back to Impact Wrestling? You want to come out here and talk about how much you hate it? If you hate it so much, get the hell out of here! Or I can make you.
thinking better of the situation here. I don't know if Alpha Bravo is so lucky. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Alpha Bravo getting the attention of Jake Something. Oh, and Dirty Ooh. Tango trying to attack Something from behind, but Jake Something was ready. Caught one of those battering ram like forearms for his trouble. Dirty Tango has made a horrible mistake. He's made an enemy out of Jake Something. Well, a uh, victory for Dirty Dango, but uh, with the help of Johnny Bravo. So who knows? I mean, that, that's, that's the strangest alliance I've ever seen. Yeah. Johnny Bravo, the swatted gear and everything else, but who knows? Uh, that's just Johnny Bravo being yeah. Johnny Bravo. He's back on Impact Wrestling, and we'll see what that, uh, that combo does here in the future. Still to come, Johnny Swinger and Sheldon Jean go one-on-one -on -one right here on BTI. The action gets started early, but up next, it's our social media top five. Five back moment of the week. Iceman Intel and more. Don't go anywhere. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI, everyone. Gia has left to call the action with Tom. We'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. But before we do, let's check out the social media top five. This is what was trending all week long. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. Last week, we saw a very different side of Crazy Steve as he sat down with Tom Hannafin. Number four. Things are gonna get wild at Multiverse United 2 in this Junior Heavyweight slash X Division scramble. Number three. Frankie Kazarian hit Alicia with a kendo stick in what some might call a happy accident. Number two. Another incredible match set for Multiverse United 2. It's the Bullet Club versus the world. And at number one. As we gear up for the thousandth episode of Impact Wrestling, another announcement was made. Team 3D will return. So from the top five to the not so top five, the great to the bad, this is the clapback moment of the week. It's where somebody said something about somebody else that they didn't like, but we love it. The clapback moment of the week is. We know John Schuyler's a good hand, but he's pretty good on the internet too. Well, that was the clapback moment of the week, and we'll see if there's any retribution from that X. I think they're called X's now. I don't think they're called tweets. I think they're called X's, but who knows what's going on in the world of social media? What's going on in the world of Impact Wrestling? Only one man knows, and his name is Iceman. Welcome to Iceman's Intel. I'm George Iceman, and we are just a month away from the 1,000th episode of Impact Wrestling. It's going to be history in the making, September 9th in White Plains, New York. Now, ladies and gentlemen, already confirmed, Knockouts Legends, the beautiful people. Also, Impact Hall of Famer, Awesome Kong will be in the house. And ladies and gentlemen, after seven years, they will reunite in the ring together, Team 3. D, this is going to be huge, and you could be a part of history. Get your tickets now. They're on sale, and they're going fast in White Plains, New York, September 9th. But here's the intel. I'm hearing phone calls and emails. They are working on someone else. But who could it be? I'm poking my nose around to get to the info, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm hearing one more surprise is coming. So keep your eyes on Impact Wrestling. making their way in here to the Cicero Stadium in Chicago, Illinois, getting ready for what should be a huge night of action tonight on Access TV for Impact Wrestling starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. But right now, Johnny Swinger is set to go here in the Impact Zone because we learned earlier this week, Johnny Swinger will be challenging for the Digital Media Championship at Emergence Live in Toronto, Sunday, August 27th on Impact Plus Fight TV and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. Kenny King will defend the title that night against the Swingman. Being accompanied by the Impact Wrestling Digital Media Champion, Kenny King, he is 
Sheldon G. Now, some have argued that Kenny King has taken Sheldon Jean under his wing in the last few months here at Impact Wrestling. I would say that Sheldon Jean is certainly learning a lot of things from Kenny King, maybe not the best things, and that Sheldon Jean often has done the dirty work of Kenny King, and especially with emergence looming and this digital media title defense looming for Kenny King, it's a chance for Jean to soften up Swinger. Sheldon Jean has backed up Kenny King for quite some time. King very content to let Jean do his dirty work for him at times. We'll see how this one goes. It's Jean versus Swinger for the first time ever. Next. And we are back here on BTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. This is Johnny Swinger about to go one-on-one -on -one with Sheldon Jean. A lot, of, a lot of support from the Impact Zone, uh, despite Swinger's um, actions. Yeah, the fans here in Chicago behind Johnny Swinger, you know, he has a love-hate relationship with wrestling fans the world over. At Emergence, live in Toronto, and Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for Ultimate Insiders. Swinger will be uh, challenging Kenny King for the digital media title. Right now, he's getting his fanny pack uh, exposed. Yeah, yeah, good, good move by our, our referee here. Uh, we know that the swing man is what not is, what is that? impervious to gimmicks. What, I don't I, know what that I don't was. Even know what that was. And uh, the official's not done with swinging. Oh. What is that? Yo, Kenny. What is that? A, I can't even uh, tell what that a, is. A, oh, that was a pen. A pen that's been crafted into a shank almost. What? Where did he learn to do that? Just saw the footage between Diener and Eric Young a few weeks ago on Access TV and got inspired. I don't know. So nonetheless, uh, now that uh, Swinger's been... Oh, God. Swinger showing off his uh, physique. And, uh, Swinger wants to test his strength here against the young upstart, Sheldon Jean. Now Jean to meet Swinger here. Oh, and there's the strength of Sheldon Jean, the self-proclaimed greatest student to ever come out of the Can-Am Dojo in Windsor. Yeah, he, he is a student of the Can-Am Dojo, dojo, but as of recent, he's been a student of Kenny King and his antics. As we mentioned, Kenny King will be defending the Digital Media Championship. Obviously, Johnny Swinger's road to 50 was supposed to be about getting to an Impact World title shot, but he is uh, challenging for the Digital Media Championship. Kenny King is interested in putting him in his place. Well, as Kenny King said, the internet is... is if you think about it, bigger than the world. It's, it, it stretches across the entire universe. Who knows if there's intelligent life out there that's watching this right now? I thought that was proven uh, recently. Oh, yeah, they did talk about that, but I don't think we can talk about it on this show. Now, Swinger going after the feet there of Sheldon Jean. Oh, and a leg lariat by Jean. I will say I did have to explain to Johnny Swinger what the internet was. Oh, that had to be fun. Um, it was a long, drawn-out process, and I, I think he may have uh, been keeping me around for a little too long. And uh, Kenny King showing a lot of disrespect for Johnny Swinger. Sheldon Jean's got the attention of the official, the two arguing inside the ring. Why well, not Kenny King putting his hands on Swinger? That should call for a disqualification. The official didn't see it. Of course. Now covered by Jean and a kick out by Swinger. Uh, clearly, Sheldon Jean is learning a lot of lessons from Kenny King. Ooh, ooh. Exhibit A. Throat first into the middle rope, and Jean using the bulk of the five count. Oh, to the eyes. He's even uh, learning some, some attitude and showmanship, if that's what you want to call it. Back inside the ring, Jean just trying to control Johnny Swinger. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Raining down 
down, elbows, and now it's Gene trying to put away Swinger here in a kick out, and Kenny King would love nothing more than for a softened up Johnny Swinger so it can make an easy night of work for him at Emergence. Face first into the top turnbuckle. Now Gene, I think just playing with the fans here in Chicago, just refusing to give them what they want. Now Swinger, hold on, Swinger with a sunset flip, oh my goodness. Then he get him over. Oh, grabbing the tights, shoulders down, Swinger nearly at Gene. It's illegal, listen, Swinger's no saint. The official didn't see it, was on the opposite side of the two. I mean, clearly, Sheldon Jean and Kenny King are gonna play dirty, but we both know that Johnny Swinger is no stranger to playing dirty. Uh, absolutely, in fact, that's how he lives most of his personal life. Boot right there to the throat. Again, continuing to affect the breathing of Swinger, Gene, and King. Loving what's happening right now. Oh! On, oh, look at Swinger. Oh! Was fighting back there, then smashed face first into the canvas. Now, Gene slowing things down. So much happening right now for Impact Wrestling. Coming up next month, we will be live for Victory Road in White Plains, New York on Friday, September 8th, and then the following night, September 9th, it's the 1,000th episode of Impact Wrestling that very evening in the shadows of New York City. Tickets on sale now at impactwrestling.com. Wow, how are you gonna celebrate? I, I, I haven't decided yet, I haven't decided. Maybe, maybe we should uh, head down to Times Square. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's a good spot. Yeah, it might be a, a little bit of a drive, but. Oh, and swingers all the way around. Oh! And Team with a pump kick right to the face. Took just a little too much time on that windup. Now Swinger trying to get back up to his feet. Sheldon Jean rushes in. Oh! Ooh, jamming his knee right into the turnbuckle. And Swinger somehow able to avoid it. Swinger, Swinger, is he thinking about a figure four? Ah, uh, Kenny King barking at Swinger. The official trying to get King off the apron. Great way to kick off Impact Wrestling. Great way to kick off the night. And what's going to happen as we get closer to Emergence, as we get closer to Bound for Glory. So much going on in the world of Impact Wrestling. Impact starts right now, and we'll see you all next week.